Good morning. Hi, I'm Pam Fox. Thanks for watching my channel. This is just a quick little plug for Cascade Brewing in Portland, Oregon on Belmont. They make sour beers and they are delicious. I don't even like beer, but these I like. So today I'm doing kind of something different. We, you know, uh, we were out of town this weekend and um, I just um, did a couple of mukbangs. So I'm just going to go through these really quick. This is the uh, Cartapalooza on uh, Division in Portland, and it's a, a variety of food carts, but it's got a lot of really nice outdoor seating with, you'll see the tents there, shaded seating. And there are a lot of vegan options here, and they're dog friendly. Um, it's just a really nice place to eat outdoors, very relaxed. Um, here I'm eating uh, the Aloha Bowl from Namu, N-A-M-U. And they also have a vegan bowl, which is really spicy. I only recommend it if you like spicy food. But um, this is the, um, it's got uh, kind of a teriyaki noodle in there, rice, avocado, grilled tofu, uh, sesame seeds. There I'm stealing my husband's fries. Um, it is so good. It is so delicious. I usually order, you'll see to the right, there's another bowl of noodles there. I order an extra side of noodles. So the reason I do these mukbangs, guys, is to show you that for the past two years, this is the way I eat. Um, I don't eat fast like that, but I eat a lot of food. I don't skip meals. I don't worry about portions. I don't count calories, but I'm vegan. And I typically eat foods that are low in oil. And I've still lost 30 pounds. Um, and I mildly exercise. So the reason I've lost the weight is definitely, definitely not due to the exercise. It's due to the fact that I no longer eat animal foods, which are high in, high in saturated fat. Um, and then there's all the beautiful healing that I've experienced, you know, additionally to that. But, um, normally I eat, you know, pretty large portions of foods and I do eat pasta and I do eat rice and I do eat potatoes. And I know a lot of people think, oh, those are going to make you fat. Um, the, the thought that eating excess carbs is going to turn into fat is really a myth. It's a, it's a process called de novo lipogenesis, and you can look that up, but it's, it rarely occurs. The reason people are overweight is because they simply eat too much fat. They have too much fat in their diet, more than the, the human body requires, and so the body just stores it. The body just stores it away. Um, so if you eat a plant-based diet that's low in fat, now when you eat out at restaurants just like this, when you eat out at restaurants, the food is typically higher in fat um, because restaurants don't know how to cook without oil. <laughs> but, um, you know, Duane and I, we probably eat out, I was thinking about it, maybe on average six times a month, which is quite a, it's, I think that's quite a bit. So six meals a month, higher in fat than normal. These weren't too bad. They didn't taste severely oily. Um but yeah, eating out. Okay, so here we're moving on. This is Fort George Brew Pub in Astoria, Oregon, and we ordered a large pizza. So this is another example. Um, you know, pizza. I eat pizza. I eat pizza all the time. I just don't get meat and cheese on it. You'll see there I've got, there's a variety of mushrooms on there. There's olives, a marinara sauce. There's also spinach and arugula on there. Now this restaurant, I love to go to this restaurant because of the ambience and my husband loves going there because the beer is really good. I don't think the food is that great and they don't have many vegan options. They will make this pizza for me, but it's not on the menu and they're very happy to do it. And it's, it's okay. It's average. I've had much better vegan pizza. Our homemade vegan pizza at home is the best that we put you know, all kinds of variety of olives on there, which I love, mushrooms, um, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, zucchini. So, um, you know, spinach, tomatoes, garlic, peppers, onions, all that kind of stuff. And it is really, really good. And you don't miss the cheese. You really don't. And so you can eat as much as you want. Uh, my husband and I ate this whole pizza. We shared it down the middle. Um, he ate the arugula. I don't like arugula. And I picked that off and put it on his side. But this is just another example. I eat pizza. I eat pizza quite frequently. And again, in the last two years, I've lost 30 pounds eating as much as I want. Um, and I no longer have any guilt associated with food. I no longer worry about, you know, oh, I better make sure. And, you know, I had a really big dinner last night, so I got to make sure and really control my portions tonight. You know, I don't, that's just over. I don't have to worry about that anymore. There's my veg power uh, <laughs> tattoo. We went to 
a flea market or a festival or something down in somewhere in Portland. I don't know. There, there's always something going on in Portland. This is a little staging area. This is upstairs at Fort George Brewing, and that's the uh, view of the river. You can see it out there. It's a beautiful view. There's lots of seating up there. Um, and they primarily do pizzas up there, although I noticed they have expanded their menu. they got a lot of games for the kids. Um, and then downstairs they have their regular restaurant. And then across the patio they have their pouring room or their tap room where they have more games. Um, they have shuffleboard and, um, oh, what's that game called where you throw the cornhole? They've got that. And they've got a nice fireplace. Dwayne and I go in there almost every Sunday in the winter and just sit next to the fire and play cards. Um, and he likes to sample their beers. So... If you're ever in the Astoria, Oregon area, you really do need to check this place out. It's, it's a beautiful restaurant. <laughs> Again, I can't really say much for the food. The food's fine. The food's fine. They just, um, there, Dwayne, he had to get, he had to get a little piece of the action there. Um, the food is fine. It's just not, you know, for a as far as vegan foods goes, it's, it's not great, but they, they do pretty good. They do a pretty good job. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, with with eating plant based, it just it eliminates that. I don't know. I'm gonna do a whole video on disordered eating, um, because I never thought I had an eating disorder. I never even would have occurred to me that I had an eating disorder before I became vegan. And then I realized that I really did have some disordered eating habits. Yeah, I, I wasn't bulimic and I was never anorexic, but I definitely had a really poor relationship with my food. Um, again, just, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm showing slow motion, uh, giving you a shot of, um, our pizza. Doesn't that look good? Probably not if you're not vegan, but it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, just disordered eating and you know, you guys just the whole, Oh, I'm going to do really good and, and naughty. And, you know, you, you skip a couple of meals and you have, and then you have a small meal. And then that, that lasts maybe for a day or two. And you're just like, you're so hungry that you binge out and you eat everything in sight. And this kind of pattern, if you establish this kind of pattern, it's a really unhealthy eating habit. Yes. Fort George Brewery, Public House, Astoria, Oregon. It's an old, um, auto mechanic shop I believe it's got these huge you know garage doors that open up downstairs and oh and right next door there's a a bakery and they do have vegan options in there I went in we went in there afterwards and I got this doesn't sound very exciting but I got a lemon poppy seed muffin that was to die for and it was vegan um I'm sure it's not you know healthy but um vegan nonetheless and then they always have like some vegan chocolates and candies in there that they make as well so that's right next door at the Blue Scorcher, I believe it's called. But you guys know what I mean. It's just, if, if you're on a healthy plant-based diet, at least for me, all of that just goes away. And um, plus, you know, you get done eating a big pizza like this and you don't have that, oh, I don't feel so good feeling. You feel great. You feel light. You feel satisfied. You don't feel like you've missed out on anything. I don't look around at other people's pizza and think, oh my gosh, that looks so good. I think, oh, those poor people, they're just, they have no idea what they're doing to their health. And they have no idea that there's an alternative. And, you know, what a big fat wuss I am. I'm sitting right here and I'm not even sharing this life-saving information with them. But I was filming my mukbang. So I have it here for anyone that um, is interested so that's it guys i gotta get going um i hope you enjoyed this i know it's kind of weird watching me eat especially in fast motion i know my husband thinks it's quite strange i told him he would get used to it we'll we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> all right thanks for watching i just have one more little plug here um my channel i'm so excited i have 99 subscribers which i know isn't very many at all but aha 99 subscribers <laughs> So um, subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.